Welcome back to the show. Standing next to me from Stein Erickson Lodge, sous chef Jonathan Miller. Great to have you on the show. Thank you, I'm Joe. really excited uh, Pleasure. for all of this. I, I love the fall presentation here. and uh, Well, I guess that's the whole point. It's, it's fall. fall. And you guys even, uh, you're celebrating it. You even have a stay and dine yep. package, right? More or less stay at the hotel. You get a three course meal at the Glitterton and um, free valet as well. And uh, yeah, you can basically enjoy food like pumpkin risotto or one of our specials. Fantastic time All to come right. up. $230 a night. That's a great deal. Yeah, thank you, All sir. All right. And that's what we're going to be making today, right? We are going to be making a pumpkin risotto. Cool. More or less, just kind of put your pan on heat. Uh, I recommend about medium, medium high. Add a little bit of oil. Let that get a little warm first, toss it around, and then take a little diced onion, put that in there as well. Well, you, you definitely to tell you have a little, little warm there, right, which is yeah. the whole idea. You want it to be hot. Yeah, more or less you're just going to sweat these onions until they turn a little translucent. You don't want to get any color. So you're not trying to caramelize them, we're just trying to... Nope. Yeah, take a little of the Just kind of break them down. All right. Now, how long have you been a sous chef up at uh, Stein Erickson? I've been up at Stein Erickson for seven years now. That's great. Oh, it's a fantastic place to work. And you take your uh, arborio rice, add that to the mixture as well. All right. And we're basically toasting that? Is that Yep. The just going to toast it for about 45 seconds. When you toast the rice, it kind of makes it hold its kernel a little bit better when you kind of cook it down with all the liquid. So will that give us uh, something that's got a, a little bit of a, not, not necessarily a, a crunch to it, but, but a, um, it'll dente. have a little more al dente. That's the word you're looking so for that's there, the Joe. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> I, you see, I'm not Italian. So hey, I guess you, you know. figured that out. <laughs> <laughs> and more or less, once you kind of toast your seeds for a little bit here, um, you'll then, you know, most people like to spit, put in a little bit of wine or, you know, something like that. Okay. It kind of makes it enriched in flavor and a little, a little complexity to the dish. We're just going very simple because the whole idea is this is for the kids. Right. This is a little something to do with kids after they carve their pumpkins. You can utilize your scraps from your pumpkin. Cool. Just cut out the outside. The and pumpkin guts. Yeah. Like call it. Yeah. And then, you know, <laughs> right. at the same time, you separate your seeds from the innards and, uh, Toast them up, they serve as your garnish for your salad, and you use the meat of the actual pumpkin in your risotto. Really? Okay. Yeah. This is very exciting. So a little right. utilization going on, since you don't have to throw away everything at the end, you can just kind of have your kids help you, you know, break it up in little pieces and a little job for them to kind of entertain them. Well, kids love to cook, so yeah, that's a good yeah. thing. Mine do as well, so. All right, now this is the part that takes us a few minutes, right? Yep, so we're just going to cook right. this down, and we're going to get to a point where this is fully absorbed. Okay. You're just going to add more liquid to it. And then you could do that steps three or four times, and that's pretty much starting to cook risotto. Awesome. Well, we are going to be back and uh, get to do all the other fun stuff here. Yep. A whole bunch more ingredients we get to add, and all of that is going to come your way here in just a few minutes. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. A trip to the moon on gossamer wings. Just Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. We are making, what is it we're making, Chef Miller? Uh, pumpkin risotto. Pumpkin risotto with yes, Chef sir. Miller from Stein Erickson Lodge. And I am excited because it's already smelling good and all we've done is the risotto so far. I hear you. I this hear you. Well, you're going to take over the spoon, Joe. All right, I can do that. You do a little cooking for us. That's a good At idea. At this point, we've had you know, multiple steps of adding water or yep. veg stock or chicken stock, whatever you prefer. All right. Add your diced up uh, pumpkin. So stir this more right More or less, in. it's been left over from your carving. Yeah. Start okay. stirring it around, add a little more water. Good plan. So we're basically looking to uh, make the rice al dente and also the pumpkin al dente now. Okay. All right. More or less that just means firm to the bite. And uh, yeah, more yeah. or less we're at the finishing steps of making the risotto. We're going to keep on cooking this. And I don't want to stir too much, right? Because then I start breaking down the starch of the rice. Exactly. And I, I used to have a chef to say you got to always do it clockwise. Yeah, really? But you know, honestly, cooking's all about fun. So really, you know. <laughs> I learned from a Japanese chef who doesn't believe that cooking is at all fun. Yeah, well, that's the same, you know, <laughs> chef that kind of said you have to go clockwise. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But for the most part, you basically just kind of keep on cooking and let the, you know, starch just kind of come out of the rice. And uh, yeah, you're going to cook it up, and then as we keep going here, we'll add the cheese. All right. What kind of cheese we got here? We got a little Asiago cheese. Oh, boy. Uh, you can pretty much Love use that. whatever you would like, Parmesan, Pecorino, Romano. Um, some of that sharp flavors is very good within the, within the risotto. Well, this is great. I got, you know, when I started smelling this, I got serious, so I put on the apron and everything. This is great. 
Get a little pinch of nutmeg in there. It'll kind of give that a nice fall season oh, uh, taste that's, in there. That's good. This is awesome. And you keep on working. I'll kind of this is making me hungry. Basically, the other thing we got to do is kind of toast some pumpkin seeds. And that will kind of serve as our garnish, as you kind of see our example plate there. Throw a little olive or olive oil in your uh, pan. Well, this Take seems... your pumpkin seeds left over from your carving that you've separated from all the innards. This is a lot easier than the way I've done that in the past. I've always tried to do it in the oven, and it's a bit of a Well, I'll nightmare. tell you what. I think in the oven's easier. But yeah. once you do shut you the... You see uh, the way I do it. <laughs> <laughs> Once you shut the door, everybody always forgets about it when it gets in the oven. There you go. <laughs> That's the problem. I burned you're basically a few. just going to toast them up in the pan, add a little bit wow. of spice, a little bit of flavor. And then right, our risotto here is cooking very finely. Yep. And yeah, once it kind of absorbs all that liquid, you're pretty much ready to go. This is awesome. All right. So we uh, keep working on that for a little bit. So tell me about the fall menu up there. You guys have got to have some pretty awesome stuff on the fall menu. No, the fall menu is great. We're, we're featuring a lot of our local items right now, um, cheeses and different things through specials. Obviously, we have lots of the, you know, the squashes and pumpkins and things like that that are going through specials as well. Um, our menu is fantastic, I have to say. If yeah. you haven't been up there, you got to come on up and see me. Uh, one of the features that we, everybody that comes up and sees is the Kobe pot roast. It's basically a uh, boneless short rib. It's braised for you know five to six hours. It's fantastic. Let's give you a little more, more water, water here yeah, before we start burning. Hot. Yep. And okay. uh, fantastic dish. Very good comfort food, but very rich in flavor as well. Yeah, so, you I know, bet. If you ask me, I'm a comfort food guy, and that hits a spot every time. Yeah, anything that makes it taste like you're back home with mom is always a good plan, right? Exactly, and that's the whole idea of the dish. It's kind of when people you know are out there, you know, hiking around and they're kind of tired. Yeah. You guys can come in and have a nice, you know, warm Kobe meal. pot roast and warm mashed potatoes, some Sunday night veg, and it's fantastic. Oh wow! I, okay, I, you got me hooked. I'm 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 up there this weekend. Hey, sounds good. <laughs> I'll go sounds I'll good. go riding the bike and come right in. Hey, there you that go. I'll take terrific. care of you. All right. So uh, I just keep stirring this for a minute. Do yep. you want me to? Uh, we're we're going to take another quick break. Does that work yep. for you? That works we'll perfect. Get this, so we can get this uh, cooked down where it needs to be. Yep. So uh, and our seeds will be toasted by then. That's a good. That's a good plan. I may eat a few of those before they that's actually fine. end up in the meal. So <laughs> all right. Well, we will be back with more from Sinaris and Lodge and uh, Chef Miller in just a minute. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> 